Okay. So last song. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sad too. It's also the last day, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And we're all gonna die someday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, in that last song, you mentioned something about a crumb, right? So things that eat people? You know I don't like clowns. <laughs> also, this this is like a horror for my mother. Just going to shout you out right now. Things that she hates, the top of the list includes uh, clowns and, uh, and cannibals. She hates cannibals. She hates things that eat people. <laughs> so this is a real joy. Yeah, we did that on purpose. Thank Just you. Thank you for inspiring us. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this uh, this last song takes a little bit of uh, uh, explaining and, and some history. Uh, so uh, this guy named Gene Ha uh, is a uh, an artist. He he's done some stuff for uh, uh, drawn some Batman comics. He worked with Alan Moore on Top Ten, uh, and he wanted to do his own thing from scratch. He came up with this idea for a comic called May, and uh, it's awesome. Uh, and the original graphic novel got picked up by Dark Horse Comics, and it's in the middle of its first season. Uh, and so uh, we got together and we exchanged some ideas and uh, talked through some stuff. I, 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 said, I said, why don't I write a song for May? Uh, and he thought it was great. You know, that sounds awesome. Um, uh, if you write the lyric, uh, if you write the, the music, Brian, can Zoe sing it? And then also, how about Zoe writes it? Uh, and I said, no, I like this song. <laughs> uh, uh, so the, uh, uh, the book is about a, uh, May is the, uh, the, the, the title of her character is here in the real world, and her sister disappeared some years ago, about six, eight years ago, and she's back all of a sudden, and it turns out she was in a, uh, this dangerous fantasy land having adventures and uh, becoming a queen and doing this and that. Uh, and we talked about what emotions uh, should go into the point of view of May, and uh, he said basically every emotion you can think of. Uh, she's ma angry at her sister for abandoning her to take care of her father. Uh, happy to see her again. Uh, their father got kidnapped, so she's anxious about that, and the father got pulled into the other land, so she's afraid, uh, but determined to help bring him back, and uh, a little bit excited to start their adventure. Uh, so she's everything, and so just put that in a song. Uh, so I did, and uh, uh, technical experiment time. Uh, in addition to doing karaoke, I also took out one of the guitars, so I the guitar, I'm going to try to play along. Ooh, and I'm going to do that cable for this. Oh, it's, and I'm going to sing. Yeah. Uh, and it's a big group. group I can't thing, just say. And uh, and the I can't just say if you have perfect pitch, then uh, shut your ears because I'm playing along with music. And because Jimbojo's not here. So I have to. Tune. Sorry. Tune. Tune. Is it weird that every time people say that, I think that they're chanting tunic? <laughs> I think it's. I think it's because of like I do so much Shakespeare. I'm just like, yeah, tunics. <laughs> tunics. Oh, everything. <laughs> tuna. Yeah, tuna fish. They start going off. So. Just one walk. I was gonna start ramping, but then it's too late. I missed my chance. I chose rhythm guitar because I can't do these uh, these lead solos. So just pretend that I'm doing those and the karaoke is playing rhythm guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
says you became a dent on a different kind of stage.